Hello everyone, I have no idea what you ask for New Year's, but I asked Santa to give me a beautiful castle of creativity. And in each of the workshop rooms, you're gonna see a magical surprises for you. Today, you're gonna see DIY. First, find your huge pile of old wax and separate by colors. If you have different shades of blue, then try to create few piles of blue. If you have a little bit of each color, just put them separate for now. Use just huge piles of same color wax. And also, I found old water floating candles and I will reuse them as well. Voila! Here's how many candles I was able to create from all those chunks that you saw earlier. And I'm ready to share my experience with you. And this is what I got. So you can always create a twins. Well, I guess that's how I call it. Where you can have two different colors, but they may match each other. It's something like this, or they could be around different colors or anything that basically can match each other. Another thing, if you don't like the wax you come up with, some of them are colorful, they're reds, there's blues, there's purples, but maybe the wax you had is really old looking and there's not particular shade that you like. So here's how you can actually hide it. For example, this one has very really nice orange container, I would say, or a cup, so it looks really nice in it. Or you can hide it in one of the old wax candle holders. They look nice too, even the color of the actual box is not really interesting or pretty. This is the old kitchen supplies that could be used really well. Of course, you're gonna cut this one off and that way it will look really interesting too. Even again, the color of the wax might be not as pretty. This ones are actually one of the old candle holders. There used to be a certain color in it that obviously I don't have anymore. So if you don't like the inside part of your wax, you can actually color top surface with some other color if something left over. For example, here I'm using blue color. It could be pink or purple or any other color to hide that color that you don't like. And another section I'm gonna show you is, this is something you can actually find in your house. So let's say this is one of the actual professional candle holders. So you can actually leave it in or take it out, decorate it outside, or decorate just the actual candle holder. Or this one is actually pretty by itself, so there's no necessary to decorate it. This one, maybe you can decorate outside, take it out, maybe decorate the actual candle, or leave it inside it just the way it is. Another section I have right here, this one is you can actually use it the way it is. So bottom of this candle holder is blue. So I decided to use blue wax to match it and create a pretty nice candle holder, even though it used to be a cup. Another candle I decided to do, it's made of the small pieces that I actually made from a different color of the wax. And the reason I decided to make this candle is because I found this holder, I think I hold pins here before, so I decided to use each section with different colors and create a candle that made out of four pieces with different colors. Okay, now here's what I face in my process. Remember at the beginning I separated each color in separate shade? Well, first of all, make sure you actually melt all color, the same color, all at once. That way you will have a nice solid colored candle. Otherwise, if you decide to melt little by little and add it into your cup, this is what could happen. You can add one red color, then a little more, and then add another color. You'll think it's the same color, but they can actually dry out as a completely different shade. It actually looks pretty. You can do it on purpose and create a little 
layers of stripes of different color but this is what could actually happen if you're accepting or expecting to make the same color candle when you will start melting your wax so remember if you use a new wax it will actually melt about 60 celsius or 140 fahrenheit but since right now i'm using old wax and this is what this video is about it's actually gonna melt on 80 celsius or 175 fahrenheit and the best if you're gonna use tool like this you're gonna put it inside of your pot and you can actually see the temperature it's very important it's not too low or not too high and before you melt your wax make sure you remove any of the bottom stickers or anything that you need to remove from the bottom or it might have something metal remove that as well of course remove old wigs too even if it's really long or short but don't throw away a long wig because you can reuse it later now wigs Shall we begin? so you can go to store and actually buy a new one you can buy it in large medium or small sizes they're all gonna have a little metal bottom that will be easier for you to stick a bottom over your cup before you fill it in with your wax or if you're too lazy you can actually reuse the old one to reuse old wig keep that little metal part and use one of your old wigs using pliers take out a tiny piece of wig and open that little hole stick through one hole your wig and using pliers close up that little part this wig was long enough for this little candle since there is old wig i needed to cut that burning part off so it looks like brand new now if you don't have metal part in old wig here's what you can do find a little metal screw or something that is slightly heavy and thread that will work as a wig tie your thread to your little screw and place it inside of your little cup to attach it to bottom of your cup you can use regular plasticine to help you attach it to bottom of your cup you can use sushi sticks this is not a drill repeat this is not a drill i had a lot of old plasticine and I was really happy to use most of it for this large project. If you will use thread, you can tie end of it to one of your sushi sticks and then cut it off when your candle is done. If you want to recreate candle like this, and if you will use special container to reuse candle, grab thread and place it throughout bottom hole and using plasticine cover bottom really well. Then attach leftover thread to wood stick. But if you use old wig and you can't tie it to stick, you can use a little hook and then use wood stick to attach it to. Another issue you can face is leftover dirt on your candle. Because you will use old candles, you would not be able to get rid of all dirt. So some of it could stay on. So here's a quick idea to fix it. Cover edges of your candle with tape and spray it with glue. Then use glitter to cover entire top surface. Since my candle is yellow, gold glitter looks really nice. This could be a really quick and nice way to cover it. I also found an old wax that used to be a water floating candles. So we melt it and I recreate the most same shape. So let's see if they can float again. Okay, now I have another thing. Why not to try to use a regular wax candles and see if they can float? And why I haven't spent money buying water floating candles? 
I spent a lot of time creating all those candles that I even started using the kitchen supplies. So I think I deserve to have some cup of tea. Oops, I forget. One more candle even there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Remember, subscription button under this video. Bye bye.